Hello, my dear learners. Welcome to Learn From Home program initiated by Supplementary Volunteer Teachers Organization. For today's video lesson, I have selected my topic as wind. And within this topic, we will discuss about definition of wind and process of wind erosion, wind transportation and wind deposition. Like walks of river, walks of glacier, walks of waves, walks of tides and other exogenetic process, walks of wind also plays an important role in the formation and creation of different types of landforms on the earth's surface. Some of the common landforms formed by walks of wind are Gorl, Jugen, Yardam, Inselbergs, Ventifacts, deflation basins like Dans and Oasis, Sand Dunes and many other features are formed by the walks of wind. In order to create these landforms, wind undergoes major three walks and those three walks are erosion, transportation and deposition. Before we discuss about these three major walks of wind, we should understand what is wind. So let me explain to you all what is wind. The horizontal movement or motion of the air is called wind. When the air moves from one place to another place, either uh, due to the rotation of the earth or due to centrifugal force, the freely floating gases that surrounds our earth, that is in the atmosphere, it moves from one place to another place. And this particular moment of air from one place to another place is called wind. So when the wind blows, it comes in contact with the different physical features, uh, natural features and cultural features of our earth, which shapes and forms different types of landforms. So now let's study about the walks of wind. Wind performs three major walks, erosion, transportation and deposition. The work of erosion takes place in three following ways that is deflation, abrasion and accretion. Let's discuss about the first work of wind that is wind erosion. Wind erosion is the process of breaking down of the land surface by the action of wind. Wind erosion is also called eodion erosion. Let me repeat again. Wind erosion is the process of breaking down of the land surface by the action of wind and wind erosion is also called eolian erosion. Further explain in detail about the wind erosion. In the barren lands like deserts and semi-deserts, when the wind blows, it lifts all the small and big sand particles and moves from one place to another place. During this movement, the dust particle creates friction in the exposed rock surface and starts breaking and scratching. This friction that breaks and wears down the rocks is called erosion. Okay, let me uh, explain you with the help of this diagram. Like for example, if this is a desert area and this is a huge block of a rock, wind is blowing from this direction. So when the wind blows, at that time all the dust particles that are there in this desert area, it gets lifted up by the wind and it starts blowing from this direction towards this direction. So when it blows, it comes in contact with this rock. So when it comes, comes in contact with this rock, then these sand particles create friction on this rock. So when the friction is created, then the rocks starts breaking down. It gets scratched. 
and starts breaking down. So when this rock breaks or wears down, this process is actually called erosion. Like I explained you all before, wind erosion takes place in three ways that is deflation, abrasion and attrition. So now we will discuss first about deflation. Deflation is the process of removing, lifting and carrying away dry and uncertain dust particles by the action of wind. Once again, uh, deflation is the process of removing, lifting and carrying away dry and uncertain dust particles by the action of wind. And wind deflation forms depressions that are called blowouts. Wind deflation forms depressions that are called blowouts. So when the wind blows in the deserts and the semi-deserts, the fine and the loose dust particles are blown away to the greater distance but the heavier and the big particles like sand and gravel are carried in suspension to the later lesser distance. So uh, let me explain you all this with the help of a diagram. For example, if this is a desert and all the deserts are filled with sand and if the wind blows from this direction then all the small and big sand and the dust particles that are there in the deserts gets carried by the wind and it blows from one direction to another direction the fine smaller ones the fine uh, so the fine dust particles travels to the longer distance and it deposits in the far areas and it forms heap of sands that is called sand dunes whereas the bigger sands and the pebbles are carried to the lesser distance and deposits in suspension and this process of removing, lifting and carrying dry and unsorted dust particles in the deserts or in the semi-desert areas by the action of wind is called deflation. Now let's move on to the second process of wind erosion that is abrasion. When wind carries sand particles and moves with force against the exposed rock, it creates friction and it causes erosion. This process is called abrasion. Abrasion is more effective at the base of the rocks. Okay, let me repeat. Abrasion, when wind carries sand particles and moves with force and uh, against the exposed rock and creates friction, it causes erosion. This process of wind erosion is called Abrasion. Abrasion is more effective at the base of the rock. Let me explain you all with the help of a diagram. If this is a desert or a semi-desert area and if there is a huge block of a rock over here and if the wind is blowing from this direction, wind carries all the sand and the dust particles that are there and it flows in this direction and this rock is exposed in the direction of the wind.
wind. And when this wind creates force in this exposed rock, it creates friction. Friction. Friction means when two particles collide with each other, it produces a kind of an energy and what we call is friction. And when friction is produced at that time, the rocks breaks into smaller pieces and causes erosion. And this process of erosion is called abrasion. Now, let me explain you all about the third walk of erosion that is accretion. Accretion is the process by which the sand and the dust particles strike against each other and break into smaller pieces. This process is called accretion. Let me uh, explain you all with a diagram. Like, uh, if this is a desert and you all the deserts are filled with sand, when the wind blows, this sand gets lifted above the ground and it tends to flow in the direction of the wind. So when it flows, at that time, these smaller particles of dust and sand, they flow in the direction of the wind, but together with them, they collide with each other. Collide means it comes in contact with each other. So when it collides, it creates friction. So when the friction is produced, at that time, these smaller dust particles further breaks into smaller pieces and this process is called attrition. So now let me explain you all about the second walk of wind that is wind transportation. Wind transportation is the process of displacement like when the wind blows all the sand and the dust particles displaces or moves from one place to another place. This movement or the displacement it's called wind transportation. Like let me explain with the diagram. If this is a desert, deserts are filled with sand. When the wind blows, when the wind blows all the dust particles and the sand particles get lifted up and it moves from one place to another place. This process of displacement is called wind transportation. So now let's move on to the third work of wind that is wind deposition. Wind deposition is also called process of uh, wind deposition is the process of settling down. Like when the wind blows from one direction to another di direction, it carries all the sand, silt and sediments or all the dust particles from one place to another place. But the velocity of the wind does not remain same in all the places. Like if the velocity over here is 16 km per hour, then when it reaches to the another end of the desert, at that time the velocity decreases and it falls below 0 km per hour. At that time, all the displaced or the transported sand, silt and sediments starts settling down. Starts settling down or starts depositing. And this process is called wind deposition. I hope you have understood today's topic, walks of wind and hope this lesson will be helpful for you all in the upcoming Madhyamik examination. For better understanding, please repeat and watch the video again and again. So, see you all next time in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay learning. Thank you.